Warning, the following video touches on eating disorders. Please watch at your own discretion. What is the cost of a dream? Kiritani Haruka is a very deep character, one that I think many people overlook. I started off only liking her at a distance, but never really understanding her character as much as I did after writing this script. Today, I would like to change that with this video by giving her character a small analysis. After studying the Mormo Jump and Haruka Holy texts, I think I am ready to give this character all that she deserves. Spoilers ahead. If I had to use a word to describe Kiritani Haruka, it would be performer. The life of a performer consists of ifs and lies. She performed as the lead of Asrin during her time that she was part of that group, yet through that lying smile, she hides her own sorrows. While the if describes the endless possibilities lying ahead of tomorrow if she chooses to walk onto the future. Before we talk about her struggles, we need to know the girl under the idol outfit. Haruka was a member of Asrin, the national idol group at the time. She had been in the industry since she was a child. Haruka says that her goal is to bring hope for a new tomorrow to her fans, yet behind the stage, she is drastically different. Due to unintentionally hurting a fellow Asran member and friend, Mai, by telling her that all she needed to do was practice, Mai had trained her vocal cords. This caused her to develop a stage right, one that was crippling her work as an idol, because what idol hurts someone? However, Haruka still loves the idol stage. She loved it when the audience would turn their pen lights in the shade of aquamarine blue for her. She loves performing as an idol, despite what had happened and more and more jump made her realize that. What was the cause of a dream when compared to being drenched in the past? Erika was stuck in the past, almost causing her dreams of being an idol, and in the future the dreams and hopes that she would give to others. To me, there's this slight melancholy to Haruka before the events of painful hope. The blues that make up her color pattern accentuate that as well. She cheers up and relaxes from working endlessly in You Deserve It break time, but this habit built up from the idol industry isn't healthy. She's too used to dealing with problems alone, but what is a garden of a lone empress tree without flowers, peaches, and the forest? The idol industry has hurt Haruka a lot without her realizing it because she has been in it for so long. She had been so used to the unhealthy lifestyle that the idol industry has cemented into her. Trigger warning, we will be talking about eating disorders in this part. Please skip to the timestamp shown on the screen for skipping this part. Haruka loves sweets, yet the idol industry sculpted her to have the perfect diet and the perfect figure. She was a child performer after all. Haruka restricts herself from eating sweets she loves, yet on the other hand, she unhealthily binge eats them behind the scenes. However, as interesting as this point about Haruka is, it is not handled that well in the story. I find it is something to note because the idol industry has defined Haruka's character, both all of her highest highs and lowest lows. Her hardworking personality comes at the cost of her overworking herself, and her physique comes at the cost of her eating disorder. The idol scene is cruel, and through Mormo Jump, we get to see that through its members. We finally arrive at Painful Hope where Haruka sees a past version of herself in Riho, an indie composer who works with more and more jump. Riho's song goes viral, but all for the wrong reasons. Out of all of the members of More More Jump, Haruka notes on how cruel the internet can be for someone who is just starting out. She reaches out to Riho, hoping to inspire the same hope that More More Jump did when she was on the road of leaving being an idol forever. She feels indebted to those who had saved her and wants to return the favor for some when else, and she did. Despite how painful it is, remember the feeling that you felt when you first started. She also says at the end of the event to keep not only the happy moments, but also the painful ones to help and inspire people in the future. In this way, Haruka creates her own hope to inspire others. Her shorter hair in her limited card shows her maturity, and the shade from the usual blues to being under the red lights may signify Haruka seeing things in a new light. Speaking of the song If, it feels like a breeze of spring rain, one of new beginnings. It reminds me of the Chinese poem by the name of Shun, meaning spring. It talks about how the spring rain brings a new start, and Haruka has been vindicated from the past and moves forward into the future. The song is melancholic but also warm in a sense, where you look back at the past and see how far you have grown. I believe so, because no one knows what tomorrow will bring. I feel that this line shows Haruka's optimism for the future, something that she lacked before her character development. I also want to talk about idol material. It talks about Haruka wanting others to rely on her, but also the rest of Mormon Jump telling her the same as well. I honestly love the vibes of this song so much. They are immaculate. It makes me so warm inside. 
It also talks about the lies that Haruka puts up so that she can work alone, but in reality, she does need Momo Jump at her side. But how can we talk about Haruka without her own definition of an idol? Disregard all the business and dealings. What does Haruka see as the role model idol? In her first card, we are introduced to her fragment Sekai, based on her role model's travel guide. That role model has been a literal guide for Haruka through her trying times before joining More More Jump. Haruka says that without having seen an idol, she would have been an idol at all. The dove with the three leaf cover, symbolizing the hope that she creates, showing how good she is at being an idol. It flies into the other rooms of the One More Jump members. This symbol of hope orders Haruka to open the doors and continue to inspire, as her role model did for her in the past. Inside of the rooms are the doves with clovers, as with them spreading hope to everyone, it is in a way Haruka spreading hope around too. The first dove represents Minori, as she's the first fan Haruka meets in person, and living proof that being an idol is not useless. Minori is proof that what has happened with Mai hasn't tainted the hope that she brought to others. She has inspired so many people and this contrasts her initial beliefs in the past. Haruka too has also been helped by being an idol and doing what she likes. I now want to talk about the etymology behind the name Kiritani Haruka. The characters for Kiritani mean Empress Tree Valley and Haruka means distant. Kiritani follows the theme that the more marginal characters have. Her surname may be a reference to her being the breadwinner of her old group as in the past, polonium wood was very expensive and I can find this surname to be very fitting for Haruka. Her first name can symbolize the fact that she used to be a national aunt doll and she may come off as distant. Some may see her as just a picture in a frame, but once you get to know her as the penguin loving person that she is, as well as the other faucets of her personality, she is so much more than just a title idol. Also, let's talk about penguins! They are so cute! The penguin is a symbol of positive change and of adaptability, something that perfectly represents Haruka. Through more and more jump, she was able to see a positive change and be vindicated from her troubles. I sound insane, yes? But does it fit? Yes, it does. Although my story with Haruka isn't as intricate as that with Deirdre's or Mafia's, I still find it worth telling. Haruka is the first Project Sekai character I was introduced to by a friend of mine. I saw her design and could see why they loved her. She is just so stylish. She really did leave a good impression of Project Sekai, as without her, I probably wouldn't be making videos right now. So I have to say, thank you Haruka for introducing me to such a good game. Studying Haruka under the microscope with the help of the Daily More and More Jump server made me realize that I actually relate to this character quite a bit. I don't really like to indulge myself in breaks or say so that much, as seen by my upload schedule, but every now and then I find myself in a cafe with all my Yunjin merch to relax with. A video on that will be coming up later. Haruka is an admirable character. She's able to move on and create new hope for others despite what's happened, and had I researched about her sooner, she would be an instant favorite as I saw a past version of myself in her pre-development character. Before this video, I never really understood Haruka. I admire her like how you would admire the Mona Lisa, just seeing and not understanding, just like how most people would view Haruka, both in real life and in-game universe, just from a distance. However, by making this video, I too came to realize how amazing this character is. Hopefully by watching this video, you have gained a new and found appreciation for Haruka as well. We have a discord where you can come and discuss. If you're interested in joining, the link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.